this is the situation at the start of the third of four campaigns in the short scenario of GMT's Gandhi, the decolonization of British India. Uh, the situation is that the British retain control of large parts of the country. You can see particularly up here in the north. Um, but that bit by bit support is seeping away and that there is now active opposition in the Sindh, the Punjab, East Bengal and down in the south in Madras Presidency and passive opposition emerging elsewhere. It's going to make it very difficult for the Raj to meet their victory conditions. They are at the moment 10 victory points short of their win condition whilst both the Muslim League and Congress are just three points short and the revolutionaries just four points short. So we have an explosive start to the beginning of the third campaign in Gandhi, uh, the decolonization of British India. The event cracked down at the Kisakhwani Bazaar is a Muslim League critical event, so that gets played. It adds one unrest marker to any space with cubes, shifts that space two levels towards active opposition. Uh, this gives a good opportunity to demonstrate how the non-player flowchart works. It's very simple, really. Um, so within the Muslim League uh, segment, we look, at, it's going to be a shift to opposition uh, action. So we look in that column and uh, to whittle down which space it goes to, we just work through the dots. So it's not going to be at active opposition currently. It's going to be a Muslim space. Uh, to population space and we can continue to narrow it down further if we need to. So we're looking for a Muslim space, one of these green tinged areas that is to population. Well, there's only three of those, East Bengal, West Bengal and the Punjab. Um, and we want one where there is not active opposition currently. Well, that's going to leave us with West Bengal. So the first thing we do is we place unrest, as it says on the card, and then we shift it from neutral to active opposition. The outcome of that is um, points increases for all of the non-Raj players. It is now an unrest territory. Uh, so the revolutionaries victory points are going to go up by two points, one, two, and both Congress and the Muslim League are going to get two times the population level of two. So four points so total opposition goes up by four points and muslim league uh, opposition goes up by four points which shifts both of them past their victory threshold it's a difficult position now for the raj so after the muslim player of the event the congress is now up uh, using the Arjuna AI control card that selects for them civil disobedience. Uh, civil disobedience can take place where Gandhi is. So that's in Bihar and in one other space equal to the level of restraint, which is one. So in one other space where there are Congress pieces, um, it needs to be somewhere that is not at active opposition. Um, and so uh, the only place that that is going to be valid is in the United Provinces. Uh, that up here in the United Provinces flips these two Congress pieces active where there is pro protest. Um, and now with the presence of the revolutionaries base, the number of opposing pieces to the Raj equals the number of Raj cubes. The Raj has lost control of United Provinces. Um, the civil disobedience action is now interrupted for the play of the special activity, which is going to be Satyagraha, which allows Gandhi to move. He's going to move again to a two pop space where there is um, no active opposition. The only space on the board where that can be is Bombay Presidency. He moves to Bombay Presidency. And then, having completed that special activity, the Main action is once again picked up. You can interrupt main actions uh, with a special ability. And 
Again, civil disobedience places protest wherever Gandhi is. So a protest now also appears in Bombay Presidency. So now my turn as the Raj. I'm going to play the first faction operation and special activity. Um, Lord Willingdon is the current Governor General. He can deploy for just uh, the cost of uh, one uh, resource for each area. So we're going to deploy two sepoys and two troops into three cities, into Calcutta, into Delhi, and into Bombay. That costs three resources. And having done that, we are now going to use our special activity to impose martial law. Now, because we're at crisis, we can do that in two spaces um, where there are cubes and activists. I can, in each space, remove one activist to available for every cube and remove any protest markers. So we're going to start off in West Bengal. There are three cubes, three sepoys that removes the two Muslim League activists to available. It adds an unrest marker that doesn't actually increase the revolutionaries points because there's already an unrest marker there, but it just doubles down the unrest. And we're also going to remove the two Congress pieces from United Provinces. There are three sepoys up there. It also removes the protest marker and once again adds um, a unrest which will go into United Provinces, a second unrest um, and in each of those two spaces shift the space one level towards neutral. Well that has no effect in United Provinces but West Bengal goes from active opposition to passive opposition and removes two points from both the total opposition for the Congress victory and two for the Muslim leagues. So an effective turn for the British. The revolutionaries passed on the previous turn. They could have played uh, after the British but chose not to. So they're now first up this time round. Um, Arjuna selects for them unrest. So they're gonna place uh, unrest and each time uh, in an attempt to sort of mimic the resources that uh, they would have to deal with if they were a player faction rather than a non-player faction they'll roll a dice if they roll a one or an under or under well if they roll a one rather the uh, turn ends every time they roll above a one they can continue to the next space so they're going to start off by trying to place unrest first of all in um, Bihar well, they succeed with that because it's the first turn. So unrest goes into Bihar. So first in each space, activate an underground gorilla, if present. Um, sorry, they're not gonna place an unrest. Um, uh, shift one level towards neutral first. So we shift, so the Bihar now goes neutral. And then add one unrest marker. So the British lose two points there because the support has dropped. The revolutionaries gain two points. And now roll a dice, anything above a one, they continue to the next area. They do. So they now move to East Bengal. Again, same principle. They reveal a revolutionary place unrest, shift opposition from active opposition to passive opposition. So both the Muslim League, one, two, and Congress lose two points and the revolutionaries gain another two points because this is now an unrest or a state of unrest. So roll again, continue. They're gonna move now to the Sindh. 
again, reveal, place unrest whilst dropping opposition from active to passive. Again, Muslim League, Congress lose a point, population goes up by one. Can they move to a fourth? They can, they move to Calcutta. Uh, unrest or there is no revolutionary but there is actually no sorry I beg your pardon that is not feasible they can't place there um, because they would have needed a congress marker as well so that looks to me like the end of the turn there's unrest in Bombay presidency unrest in Delhi but nonetheless that has been a very successful uh, action they now have their special activity, which is assassinate in one space selected for unrest. They remove an active piece. Um, so wherever there are most guerrillas, first of all, well, they've only got one in every space. Wherever there are fewest cubes, well, the fewest cubes of the spaces selected for unrest is in the Sindh. So their assassination is targeted against the Muslim League piece and that piece is removed and that is the end of a very successful turn for the revolution. Congress is now up and uh, they are going to choose to play the event which is the Lala Lajpat Rai killed during protest um, the murder of this uh, popular Sikh independence leader prompts uh, dismay and allows the Congress player to replace two cubes in a space with underground um, uh, underground uh, revolutionary pieces they can remove replace two pieces with two of their own pieces um, the choice is going to come down to a two population area um, and uh, a space where there is protest well the only two pop space where there is protest currently going on is in Bombay presidency so the first pieces to be removed are the players faction pieces mine so two sepoys are replaced by two congress activists who are activated because of the presence of the protest marker which means that control of Bombay presidency has been lost by the Raj it's another two points that they've lost So, my turn now as the Raj, and I've got to try and get some control in uh, states where I've lost control and bit by bit start removing the unrest levels that have been building up and which have given the revolutionaries a kind of winning position. So I'm going to begin by um, garrisoning uh, so that... Well, I'm well, I'm tempted also actually maybe to sweep now the sweep might be uh, a better action because it exposes guerrillas um, so I can move cubes that are not in protest spaces onto adjacent railways and then into adjacent destinations so I'm going to begin by I need to come from Bombay in to Bombay presidency send those in there that's a cost me a resource um, I'm going to send up into Punjab 
a couple of sepoys, a couple of troops. Uh, that's another resource. I'm going to send this troop on its own so it's not going to cost me anything into the Sindh. Supplement it with a couple of sepoys from Karachi. That will cost me. And then I want to get into Bihar with a little bit more. So we're going to come with two troops to see poison to Bihar. We've already got control, but it's going to cost me a point. Now, having done that, I get the chance to um, govern in two spaces with cubes in each space remove one active piece or if no activists remove a protest marker or strike marker or if no active adversaries by imperialism well in um i think in bengal i will bit by bit be able to remove the unrest but first i have to get rid of the active piece the base is an active piece so a muslim league base out there um, and i think in bihar i'm getting rid of that active revolutionary uh, so i now just need to finish off by placing my control markers so control in the sin for one point i have Control now in Bombay Presidency for three additional points, total of one, two, three. Um, I've gained control in the Punjab up here for two more points. Um, and I think that's it. I already have control in Bengal, East Bengal. Bihar, so nothing changes there. Uh, so let's see if I can hold those spaces and perhaps next time begin to remove the unrest and slowly, incrementally build up support. The Muslim League is up next and can play the um, event uh, which the Simon Commission report published, event which allows them to add up to four activists and then if they choose unrest markers or well, they're not going to unrest markers because that's um uh, uh benefits the revolutionaries but they can place uh railway uh strike markers um but to begin with the four Activists are going to be distributed between uh, two spaces which have a Muslim League base, uh, and those are East Bengal and the Punjab. The first piece is going to go in the space where there is um, an equal number of Congress pieces to Muslim League base, uh, pieces. So, first one goes into East Bengal, and then we're just going to randomly distribute them. So on uh, one to three they'll go in the Punjab, four to six in East Bengal. So the th second goes into East Bengal, the third East Bengal, so they're flooding into East Bengal, and then the last one goes into the Punjab. Um, now That is not going to change uh, any um, control because uh, none of those are active, um, but they can now add uh, up to two unrest marks to any spaces or a strike on a, uh, or up to two railway spaces. Um, now, I'm not sure if those are options really uh, that appeal they're certainly not going to want to uh, place unrest markers the question now is whether they want to 
occupy railways well um, I've got to be honest I don't think there is really much of an option for them to select those spaces um, so I think the turn is going to end there the Muslim League next up uh, they played the event the Simon Commission report published event which allows them to play up to four um, activists uh, those are split between areas where there is a Muslim League base the Punjab and East Bengal done randomly on a dice roll which ended up with an additional three ending up in East Bengal an additional two ending up in the Punjab uh, so finally some more concentrated presence for the Muslim League no change of control because they're not active but uh, their uh, fortunes look slightly healthier than they did a few moments ago so to, be to begin with the Congress are going to pass because they're up on a critical event um, and first player next turn so they pass that brings one of their places pieces from out of play um, back into play so then um, the revolutionaries are next up they're going to do an operation and a special activity the Arjuna card means that they're going to carry out rally um, they can't place any bases because they place bases where gorillas exceed unity or unity is at one and they haven't got any space where they have more than one gorilla so they're going to place gorillas instead which is level of um, one plus the number of bases so they've got a base in East Bengal they're going to go with two pop spaces first so two come into East Bengal one plus the number of bases there's one base two into United Provinces similar two pop two into the Punjab where they have a base and then they've got one gorilla left to place and so that's going to go into the Sindh where they have a base and having done that um, they can bring a revolutionary from out of play and make that available and then finally as their special activity they're going to infiltrate to place a base and the space chosen by their flowchart is going to be United Provinces so a second base revolutionary space goes into United Provinces they've got that really uh, as a center of activity that's going to give them another point so now the Congress gets to play the event um, which allows it to add an unrest marker to a space with cubes and remove up to four pieces to available their bases last and then shift that space two levels towards active opposition um, it's got a choice between uh, Bihar and United Provinces on a die roll United Provinces were chosen so three pieces or well, four pieces are removed that's three um, sepoys and a revolutionary's base so that hits both sets of opposing sides and then shifts it two spaces to active opposition so that's excellent that's four points for Congress so the Muslim League now gets to do an operation and special activity Arjuna selects civil disobedience which allows it to place protests where they've got a Muslim League base and a space with Muslim League activists up to unity which is one so that's three spaces 
So the only three spaces are Punjab where there's a base, East Bengal where there's a base, Calcutta where there's a Muslim League activist. So in each space place an available protest marker, or we can do, we can put protests in all of those. So that's going to flip those active, which now means the British Raj loses control of Punjab. Then a protest is going to go in East Bengal. That flips all of them active, plus the Congress marker. So the British lose control of East Bengal. It's not looking good for the Raj. That's another two points lost. And then protest goes into Calcutta. So that goes active, but they retain control of Calcutta. And then they get the chance, their special activity. Oh, actually, before then, they're going to send a activist onto the railways where they've got three or more pieces. So one there, let's do one there. Doesn't really matter which railway they go onto. They're both three value. That's a five value one. Um, and then finally, they are going to infiltrate to place a Muslim League state. So during a crisis, place a Muslim League state, a Muslim state market in a province with a Muslim League base and no Raj control. Well, because they've now lost control of both East Bengal and the Punjab, it's one of those two. And the choice between where they go is the one with the fewest cubes. The fewest cubes is East Bengal. There's three, there's four in um, Punjab. So we get our first Muslim state, and it is in East Bengal. And that puts four points onto the Muslim League score. So now the revolutionaries, they're going to go first. The event, the raid on the Chittagong Armory is a critical event. Uh, for the revolutionary, so they're going to play that, which allows them in one space to add two guerrillas from out of play, add an unrest marker, and shift that space to neutral. When you go through the flow chart, the one space right for that is Madras Presidency. Madras Presidency down here in the southern tip, currently active opposition and British control. So this is going to be very good for the revolutionary. So an unrest marker is going in there two revolutionaries and that active opposition shifts to neutral so the outcome of that is it's going to knock the congress victory points down by four one two three four because the opposition there was a total of four it's another area with unrest population so the revolutionary score another two points they at the moment are storming ahead so the Raj are up now, um, and I've got to somehow try and rest and um, control back quite quickly. And uh, I think it's going to take draconian measures. measures. So I'm going to begin by um, assault. I don't like to, but any spaces with Raj forces, um, it costs me um, resources equal to restraint, which is one for each space where sepoys um, assault troops are free. And in each space, I can remove an active piece for every two cubes, or if troops are present, for every cube. Um, so I'm going to start in Bombay Presidency. Um, and I have five cubes I've got because I have the, a troop there. So um, five cubes I can rem remove active pieces. Um, so one two three i'm going to leave gandhi i don't want to uh, create a stir by removing gandhi which is what would happen um so that's uh, one resource spent um now further north uh, i'm going to then come into the sind with the presence of the cube three spaces so an active piece i can remove that active piece uh, it doesn't do a lot. Unfortunately, I can't do much more. I can't get rid of that base because there is a underground gorilla still there. I can only get rid of bases last. Um, that's another resource spent. And then finally up in the Punjab. 
I have four cubes and there are in terms of active spaces two Muslim uh, league pieces that go to jail and the Punjab, uh, the uh, revolutionary piece is removed. Now the advantage of that is that gives me back control of the Punjab. Um, so at least that gives me I'm making a bit of a mess of that two two victory points. Um, um, that done. Um, I can move to special activity. I'm going to carry out uh, the govern action, two spaces. I'm going to govern, first of all, down in uh, Madras presidency. If there are no active adversaries, I can buy imperialism for up to two levels. So I'm going to spend six to get support, active support in Madras presidency. Um, and then I am beginning to run out of resources. So uh, I, but I think I have enough control up here in um, uh, Bihar to spend three to get rid of unrest. And then for my second spend, for my uh, second set of three resources, send that to active, uh, I beg your pardon, passive support. So that's going to give me an additional two. Um, and so that unrest is removed. It knocks the revolutionaries down a couple of points. Um, and so with that, I think my turn is over. It's uh, pushed me on a little bit, but uh, I'm still well short of my victory turn. So the Muslim League are up Next, they're going to play their first faction operation plus special activity. Um, Arjuna selects for them initially persuade. So they're going to persuade um, in two Muslim uh, two spaces with Muslim League pieces where they can either um, activate a guerrilla for each active non-violent piece um, or remove an active piece. Uh, troops and bases last while. Well, they're going to begin up here in the Punjab. The only active piece up here is the base, so that allows them to activate a guerrilla there, which makes it vulnerable to at least the British. It's not very dramatic. Um, and then in the Punjab, they can remove um, an active piece. Um, uh, so that guerrilla uh, base is a last, so they can't remove that before. The gorilla goes, so the gorilla is removed. Um, they then come to have to roll a dice, and on a five or less, they are going to rally. Uh, it's a one, so that's fine. So they are going to rally. They are initially uh, there's nowhere for them to place bases. That would be where they would, you know, the first action that they would carry out. So they are going to place one activist plus the number of bases in two areas. So two activists are going to come into the Punjab and into um, East Bengal. Now, they've only got three available, so we have to work out where uh, they will go first, uh, in which of those two spaces they're going to prioritize. So. Um, place activists initially where there are most Muslim League bases, well that's similar, uh, a Muslim space, they're both mus Muslim spaces, what, then where there is protest, protest in both, Raj control, while well, there is Raj control in the Punjab, so they're going to place the two initially in the Punjab, those are turned immediately active because of the current protest there, and then the other final piece is going to arrive in uh, East Bengal, their uh, Muslim, uh, their Muslim state, uh, and then the final um, action as part of rally is to release a die roll of activists from jail. Now, there's currently off camera five 
Muslim League activists in jail. We're going to release all five of them on that dice roll. That's excellent. That sends them to available. Congress are up next. They don't really seem to have had much uh, activity lately, and they are really limited in, on the board. All that they've got is a uh, Gandhi uh, on his own in Bombay presidency and a single Congress piece in East Bengal. Uh, th all they can do is a limited operation. So in one space, uh, they're going to do non-cooperation which is spaces with protest and Congress activists. Uh, and uh, unless during a crisis, no Raj control, so that's valid. So first I can shift each space one level towards active opposition. It's currently at passive opposition. So that's now going to move to active opposition uh, and then restraint minus one where restraint is already at the lowest it can be. It's going to give two points to both the Muslim League and to Congress. So although it furthers Congress's cause, it also gives a leg up to their Muslim League uh, brothers stroke opponents. Right, so the British, we're up next. Uh, operation and special activity. I'm going to begin um, with I think I'm going to go with the operation first and I'm going to do a sweep which allows me to move forces and expose guerrillas, uh, cities, provinces and states. Um, again, one uh, cost, the cost of restraint um, in each instance, that's one uh, unless it's troops on their own. So the procedure is to move cubes that are not in protest spaces um, if desired onto adjacent railways without strikes or active adversaries, then into adjacent destinations from there. Troops, of course, may not move into states. And then in each destination, I activate one gorilla for every cube that is in that space. So I'm going to begin by, I'm just going to move a sepoy from Madras into coastal Andhra here. That's one. Uh, seems to seem significant, but it gives me control of coastal Andhra. And it's a single point, um, victory point. So that's the first action. Um, secondly, I'm going to sweep from Bihar, where I've got plenty of uh, troops and sepoys, but not much activity from the opposition there. And four pieces are going to move next door into United Provinces. Um, and having done that, I activate all three. Um, In fact, I'm inclined to move, might be a bit of a risk, a fifth piece in there. So that costs me one. Um, those are all activated, but I do now have control of United Provinces. So that gives me a further two victory points. And finally, I'm just going to send, as I'd done in a way with Coast Landara, I'm going to send a troop into Baluchistan up here in the top northwest corner where there's been no activity up, up to now and it provides me with control of Baluchistan and a victory point. Now having done that I move to my uh, special activity martial law which allows me in, to end protest and remove activists. Um, one to two spaces, two during a crisis which we're in which have cubes and activists. And then each sp space I can remove an activist to available for every cube and remove any protest. Uh, but in so doing, I add an unrest marker, but I shift the space one level towards neutral. So we're going to start in um, East Bengal. So in each space, remove one activist to available for every cube. Well, I'm going to remove the three Muslim League activists, two available. Um, I remove the protest. That flips the remaining activists from active to inactive. And I now 
um, uh, no, don't need to add an unrest marker because an unrest marker is already in place. Oh, no, no, what am I saying? I do, it just doubles down the level of unrest in East Bengal. And then finally, up in the Punjab, I'm going to do something similar. I've got um, four, and actually having... Hmm. I can remove an activist for every cube. Um, well, there's four cubes. So I'm going to remove four activists. Um, remove the protest and add the unrest marker. So obviously levels of unrest growing in various parts wherever I'm getting heavy handed. But I again take back control. So I have control of the Punjab. Another two points to me. Um, the revolutionaries are up next they're going to play the event provincial elections cool tensions so i can shift or they can shift two spaces with congress pieces each one level towards active opposition um, and then place one activist or guerrilla in each space well there's three there's uh, with congress pieces gandhi is in uh, bombay presidency um, there's a piece up here in East Bengal, and there's a piece down in Madras Presidency. So to select, and it's going to be about um, placing guerrillas. So it's a rev where there's a revolutionary base without a guerrilla. So the first choice is going to be um, up in East Bengal. And then the other one is one to two guerrillas with no revolutionary base. And then secondly, they're going to select uh, Madras presidency. So in both instances, shift one level towards active opposition. Uh, well, East Bengal is already at active opposition, so we can't change that. And then add a revolutionary. So a revolutionary is going to go into East Bengal. So it gets a bit of presence back there again. Um, and then finally add an activist down in Madras presidency. So getting a bit of a build up of revolutionary troops in the deep south uh, or in the far south. Let's just flip the hammer down. You see I've put a third one there and we shift that one level towards active opposition. So the British lose two victory points of support there as support drifts away from them. So Muslim League is up next. It's got a critical event. So it's going to play that, which uh, the Pakistan Declaration published in London allows them to add two bases to Muslim provinces with rum. Um, uh, it's going to focus initially on the two pot space that still has space, which is West Bengal. So in goes a base into West Bengal. And then on a random die roll, using their kind of random map generator the second base goes into assam so bases placed in west bengal and assam up here in the top northeast corner so congress are up next first of all civil disobedience we're going to place protest in a couple of places that protest is where we have congress pieces without protest so that's east bengal so we're going to get protest in east bengal there's a congress piece just there you can see and then flipping back down it's just coming into play a bit more now down in the bottom at madras presidency so protest in madras presidency so that flips that Congress piece into its active side. Um, I need to do the same now in East Bengal. So the Congress piece and uh, the Muslim League piece both up there are flipped. Um, 
then Satyagraha sees uh, Gandhi move. He's going to go to a two pop space um, where uh, it's not at active opposition um, and where there is Raj control uh, and then as a further decided with the fewest cubes. Bihar is appropriate so Gandhi moves here to Bihar. Having done so a Congress piece joins him because it's a protest it's activated there are now two active Congress pieces to the one sepoy so the British have lost control suddenly of Bihar then let me just move that camera up there so here we are the one sepoy now outnumbered two points lost two victory points lost by the Raj um, turn over. So the revolutionaries are up next and they're going to focus down in uh, Madras presidency. Uh, they're going to begin first of all by a rally which allows them to place bases where guerrillas exceed unity um, to begin with. So uh, they have one base left, three guerrillas which exceeds unity um, so they can um, Um, replace guerrillas equal to unity with a base. So we remove one guerrilla, replace it with a base, and then they move uh, one guerrilla from out of play to available. Um, but they have none in out of play now. Let's see if they can now rally, uh, continue the rally. They need to roll a four, five, or six to allow them to continue. No, uh, that's this is how we sort of uh, using the, the Arjuna replicates the resources restrictions on um, the revolutionaries uh, through the die roll. So they're, they they for their main activity they are um, their main operation they're restricted to acting in just that one space. But they placed a base there, um, which gives them another victory point. So they'll be quite happy with that. They follow up by a special activity which is going to infiltrate, which is to replace one adversary. Um, again, as ever, focusing on a two pop space um, with an adversary with um, uh, the most guerrillas. Now, the most guerrillas in this instance is up in the United Provinces. There are three guerrillas there, so they can replace. Uh, one of the opposing pieces, the British are there, so the order of replacement is troops first. I just have to double check whether, uh, no, they replace a sepoy activist or protest marker. They can't replace a troop. Uh, they infiltrate the sort of homegrown uh, police force. So one of those sepoys is replaced by a underground gorilla. I'm now going to play my the event the Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan protests bring attention to the frontier in the Punjab and adjacent provinces I can either remove up to four activists total or shift two of those spaces each one level towards passive support. Now I could uh, sorry let's uh, shift the camera up north Here's the Punjab, so I could shift, um, for example, Baluchistan, Northwest Frontier, each of which are one pop spaces, one towards me. That would give me two points. Or I can shift the Punjab itself from active opposition to passive and United Provinces. That's adjacent from active, and that removes four points of victory points from both nonviolent. So one, two, three, four, I think that's a good uh, one, two, three, four. That's a, a good outcome for me. So next up, the Raj, first faction operation plus special ability. They are going initially to rally. They need to get more pieces on the board. They've got plenty in jail, only two in available. 
those two available are going to come down into Bombay Presidency. Uh, no longer controlled down there. Protests are there. Um, active. We're then going to release a die roll from jail. Just two activists released from jail to available. And then Gandhi is going to move and he's going to move to West Bengal. And having moved to West Bengal, if there's unrest, we remove unrest and any protest. So remove one unrest marker. Well, there's two there, so it gets rid of one. But there is no protest marker there. Um, or we, yep. Um, and that is the end of the turn. Um, Muslim League is up next. They're going to pass, uh, which brings an activist from out of play into available. They've got plenty available, but they have a, an incredibly powerful card coming up, which is the reason why they want to pass. And then we get the most dramatic of endings, because with the Muslim League on the cusp of playing the Lahore resolution card, the birth of Pakistan no less, which would have allowed them to place a Muslim state in any Muslim province. So for example, turning Punjab into a Muslim state and gaining another four points. The campaign card is turned up and brings the game to an end there and then immediately. Um, and so the first thing we do is to check who has met their victory conditions. Well, the Raj have 29 victory points, 10 points short, so I'm clearly nowhere near. Congress has 15 victory points. The total opposition is 15 at the moment. They're um, six points short of their victory condition. And then we have the Muslim League. Well, the Muslim League have 15 points of opposition as well, which is total opposition in Muslim areas and two times the Muslim state population. And there is a Muslim state in East Bengal. So two times the population of two gives them 15. And the Muslim League win conditions are 15 points. So the Muslim League has met its victory conditions, but the revolutionaries have victory points on the basis of the number of bases. They have five bases out across India. Their full complement plus unrest population, population at a level of unrest. And there is unrest right across India from north to south. And that gives them a total of 19 victory points. Their victory threshold is, like the Muslim League, 15, which means that they are four points ahead of their victory threshold. Now, had uh, the Muslim League been able to play their card, they would have gained another four points and been at a similar point ahead of their victory point threshold. But as it is, it's the revolutionaries who have met their victory condition and are the furthest beyond their victory threshold. And so they win, meaning that as the British cede control of India, they do so not in an orderly way, not with the formation of a Muslim state or with a non-violent Congress taking control, but with unrest and revolution and revolt across India and the continent in turmoil.